gentlemen, this is a tag team match scheduled for one fall. First, the team of Johnny Goodtime and Johnny Yuma, the Rock Mask Monsters. Main event time here on NWA Championship Wrestling from Hollywood. Good to see the spring back in the step of the Rock Mask Monsters. Last time we saw them inside that ring, they were laid out by the Cutlers. Cutler Brothers making their debut in NWA Championship Wrestling from Hollywood was not an official match. It was just and a blindsided months. attack on the number one contenders, the Rock Nest Monster. Helen from your local GNC at a combined weight of 423 pounds. The team of Dustin and Bradden, the Cutler Brothers. Wait a second here. Yuma, Yuma trying to go to men. Good time over. That dive over the top rope goes a little bit of a way to make up for what the Cutlers did. But the, the Rock Nest Monsters are going to look for their comeuppance by winning this match and by showing that they are the true number one contenders. Bell Sounds and the Rock and Roller and the Gamer playing their game now when they're getting a chance to face the Cutlers face to face instead of being blindsided. Inside the ring right now, that is Brandon Cutler, the younger slightly small. He's taller, but he's less wide than his brother, Dustin. Uh, Brandon Cutler, I believe, has about uh, three and a half, possibly four years of in-ring experience. As does his brother, Dustin. These two men have been tag team partners all throughout their career, well, all throughout their lifetimes, actually, and uh, making their debut here in NWA Championship Wrestling from Hollywood. Their in-ring debut, I should say. to be a more aggressive Rock Nest Monsters team for good reason, obvious, than we've ever seen. This looks this looks like the energy that the Rock Nest Monsters had when they came to the ring to challenge natural selection. Yep. Oh, look at that, Johnny, good time. With, the, with his uh, ankles around the ears of Brandon Cutler, driving him down face first into the bottom turn, turnbuckle. Now, Johnny Yuma goes for the drop kick in the corner, but nobody home, and now Dustin Cutler pulling Yuma out. And as you mentioned, Brandon up and over the top of the guillotine leg drop to Yuma, who is draped over the ring apron. These brothers, no stranger to tandem offense as well, work together as well as anybody hook of the leg, only a count of two, says Patrick Hernandez. You can see the chest of Johnny Yuma still, uh, still, still reddened and damaged from, from that attack by, by the Cutler brothers. He, he took the, the six second abs, their finishing maneuver just weeks ago, and I mean, he's still battered and bruised from it. Cutlers have Yuma in their corner, wrong part of town. And again, Rock Nest Monsters so popular here, real crowd favorites, former NWA tag team champions. And the crowd trying to urge them to get revenge here, but right now the Cutlers very effective at double team, pulling through, pair of shoulder blocks, overpowering them there. You know, it's very interesting if you think about the Rock Nest Monsters. Friends here in uh, NWA Championship Wrestling in Hollywood. They, they have a, six, like a laundry list of enemies, and they're not even the champions. They've got the Cutler Brothers, Natural Selection. Everybody is gunning for the Rock Nest Monsters, and they're only the number one contender. And so, I mean, they've got really nowhere to turn. And, I mean, so if they, if they were to get through this match and take and eventually get their shot at Natural Selection and win the championship titles, there, I mean, there would be so many people chomping at the bit, waiting to get their hands on the Rock Nest Monsters. I don't know how two guys, Rock Nest Monsters, Johnny Yuma, Johnny Goodtime, the nicest guys in professional wrestling, but they've got more enemies than anybody I know. Well, because they're just that good. Everybody wants a piece of them. Piece of them. They want to make a name. They know it will be over the Rock Nest Monsters to form a champion. Uh, propel you right through the tag team ranks here in the NWA. But great teamwork being displayed here. Frequent tags. Look at the strength by Dustin Gamella Press, but miscommunication there. Out the back door was Yuma. In comes Good Time now, trying to get things rolling. Snaps out the head scissors. Likewise, yes. It's a head uh, run on Dustin. Like Larry takes down 
Brandon. Like Larry takes down Dunstan. Johnny, good time is a one-man wrecking crew. Uh, but the shot there, back was turned. Patrick Hernandez has got to get one of the cutlers out of there. He only had a five-second count to double team. Rear waist lock now. Kicks the leg out wow, and a little assisted low blow. It is legal because it was performed by his own partner. And that time it was performed by his own hand. Johnny, Johnny, good time. Really bending the rules to his, his benefit. And the very nearly got a pin, uh, pinfall victory over the Cutler brothers. Nice tornado DDT, but again, I'm begging you to get one of the Cutlers out of there. Sweeping the leg of uh, Dustin Cutler. Brandon Cutler comes in, throws the clothesline. Big atomic drop. Oh, going for the ride here, a little, little rodeo action. Covering his own brother. Oh, we're gonna get a double pin here. Take them both out, only a pin with two. Johnny Goodtime has not stopped since tagging into this matchup. He is taking on both of the Cutler brothers. Finally, now Dustin leaving the ring. But Brandon is um, he is um, he is much more worse for wear than he was when Johnny Goodtime came into this match. Nice chop there by Goodtime and another one again. The Rock Nest Monsters like never before really hitting with bad intentions, it seems. Oh, wow, look at that heads up move. Opens up the ropes. That sends Goodtime to the outside into the waiting arms of Dustin Cutler, who's just pounding away. Dustin Cutler really going to work on more of the face of, of Johnny Goodtime after Goodtime got low bridge. That's the, uh, that's the tag team excellence that the Cutler brothers bring to NWA Championship Wrestling from Hollywood. They are tremendous, tremendous strategists when it comes to tag team wrestling. And there we see getting under their opponent's skin, throw it in their face that they have the upper hand right now. They're getting a few reps in there, a couple push-ups, work on those packs. Talked about how many people have a bullseye on the Rock Pit Sponsors, but just talk about the talent, uh, the drive, natural selection. We've seen Young Hollywood, of course, in, in action, and now the Cutlers. Tag team wrestling, kind of a lost art in the overall world of professional wrestling, not here, alive and well in the NWA. And here we see the Cutler brothers. That's what they went for earlier on Johnny Yuma, but this time, Dustin Cutler with the Gorilla Press, Brandon Cutler with the double sledge across the back. Finding their, uh, finding their way to, to cut off the momentum of Johnny Goodtime. The Cutlers can't they hail from the local GNC. These guys expert double team moves are spotting each other, if you will. Bow and arrow stretch by Brandon Cutler. Really, uh, really compounding, compounding the work they did on the back and spine. Johnny Goodtime with that, that, uh, that tight team move earlier. A good time fighting his way out of it. Big, big press by Brandon Cutler and just goes directly into launching punches to the face of Johnny Goodtime. This one's been back and forth since the opening bell. Two very well matched teams. That bar of excellence here in the tag team division, as we touched on, continues to rise here in the NWA. But now, tag team wrestling 101, take them right back to their corner. Keeping him in the friendly part of town. The Cutler brothers are not. Look at this. Johnny Yuma. Johnny Yuma trying to come into the ring. And Dustin Cutler. Oh, you gotta be kidding me here. Dustin Cutler getting some reps in at the expense of Johnny Goodtime. I don't think Goodtime's gonna have enough cardio to withstand that choking there. By Dustin. Unbelievable. Dustin Cutler, Brandon Cutler showing off why they are such a highly lauded and, and greatly feared tag team in NWA Championship, well, in the professional wrestling world, making their, their debut, a very impressive debut thus far, but Johnny Goodtime looking to put an end to it by tagging into Johnny Yuma. And though Brandon in between him and the corner, but no longer, he's got to reach, dive, find a way, but no, too much leverage there, and again, right back into the corner. Are impressive. That was the furthest six inches of Johnny Goodtime's life. I mean, he could see how close he was. He could taste it. But Johnny Yuma, unable to tag in, got reversed. Oh, now rolls it up, reversing in his own. Nicely got into the crucifix, but he went the wrong way. Didn't know where he was. Dove for the wrong corner. Oh. Johnny Goodtime disoriented by the uh, by the attacks of the Cutler brothers, and it was just a momentary lapse in conversation that actually brought him closer to the to the opposing corner. And uh, the, the Cutler brothers benefiting by Johnny Goodtime's momentary confusion. And Johnny Goodtime 
throwing shots at both of the Cutler brothers. Hard right hands coming to both men. Went for the tag once again. Couldn't make it. And uh, Brandon Cutler grabs a handful of hair in good time, but Enziguri takes him off the apron. Tag is made, Johnny Yuma guillotines Dustin Cutler over the top rope. Cross body schoolboy. Johnny Yuma charging in, Dustin, or Brandon Cutler throws the clothes on Yuma, ducks under. Head scissors takes down Brandon Cutler. Incredible action, trying to divide and conquer. Here comes Yuma. Get, got caught up there by his large opponents. But drives him down, both of them eat knees. Went for the double clothesline, the Cutler brothers went for the, uh, the uh, the powerbomb in the corner, the tandem powerbomb, but Johnny Yuma reversing it, and now taking down both of the Cutler brothers. Bulldog, stereo with the clothesline and the rock and roller in full stereo there, but only gets the count of two. Johnny rock Yuma feeding off the energy of the crowd, the Rock Nest Monsters coming back alive into this match, but Johnny Goodtime very slow to get back up on the apron in his corner. Steam here by Yuma. All oh, the six second abs reversed by Yuma. He's felt the sting of that once before. Didn't want to feel it once again. Explosive amnesia. They put a lot of teams away with that, but they make the save. Brandon Cutler in the nick of time to break things up to keep his team alive in this matchup. With the Cutler brothers, impressive in their debut. If they were to lose this match right now, you would still have to give them a ton of credit because you don't become former champions, you don't become number one contenders without having your fair share of ability. The referee was caught in the corner. They were looking for weapons grade polonium, but now the low blow. Oh, the, the Akuza kick to the side of the face of good time. And now the tandem tombstone pile driver. Drive it down, Johnny Yuma! What a devastating double team maneuver there, and the Cutlers have defeated the number one Ladies contender. Ladies and gentlemen, here are your winners. This is a huge victory for this debuting duo of Brandon and Dustin Cutler.